Okay, so I'm all packed up, ready to go head out, check, uh, check on that rental unit that's opening up today. Um, yeah, let's keep our fingers crossed. Brenda's in the house right now. She's got to gear up with one more cup of coffee, and then, uh, then she'll be over there too. So let's get going, go check it out. Okay, so I just pulled into the rental unit, and it uh, doesn't look too bad. Remember that big pile of junk that was sitting there? It's gone. It looks like what he did was moved it to the road. And before I go any farther, just for kicks, uh, here's some pictures of when we first bought this house. Uh, we bought it as a foreclosure. The kitchen was a disaster. It needed to be totally cleaned and, and fixed up again. A lot of beautiful color on the walls, as you can see. No closet doors, no flooring. Uh, we had to replace all that stuff. Now let me show you some pictures of after we renovated it. The outside was beautiful when we were done. Put new carpet in the bedrooms, new closet doors, freshened up the paint in all the rooms, two coats. The kitchen was spotless. And one of the bedrooms, one of the windows was cracked, so we ended up putting a whole new window in there. Uh, and then the laundry area looked, uh, looked really nice when we were done too. Anyway, let's head in now and check this place out. Okay, we got a couple mattresses left here. Yeah, they don't belong. Looks like the garage is kind of marred up a little bit. That's all right though. That's pretty typical. All right, we'll start in the kitchen here. The dining room looks pretty rough. Kind of hard to see from the, the video camera. Yeah, people just, they just don't really know how to clean. You know, this is supposed to be clean. Let's start with the dishwasher. See all that grime? This was a brand new dishwasher when he, uh, when he moved in. This is definitely, this is definitely not good. Fronts of the cabinets, I don't know if you can see it or not. They are like super, super filthy dirty. Brenda's gonna be delighted. Well, there we go, let's look at the light under there. Food spatter, not very clean. Doesn't surprise me though. And back of the range. It's not clean. Stove rings. We always tell them to replace the stove rings. And so that'll be a charge. Nothing gets wiped out here. And inside of here, this is always pleasant. Alright, the refrigerator. Let's check out this refrigerator. It is definitely not very clean. Check out these drawers here. crispers. That is full of mold in there. Meat tray, look at this. Mmm, nummy. I smell it too. Looks like we're missing a cabinet door up there. Looks like we got a smoke detector hanging. Check out the bedroom. Oh man, is it stinking here. Ooh! I know they had a cat, which was allowed, and I told them we were going to change the carpet out, but whew, that's no excuse for having it urinate all over the carpet. I'm not sure what we got going here. Must have had something hung right there. Second bedroom. Looks like the cat did a little scratch in there. Looks like we got one bifold repair. Big hole in the wall. Bathroom. First impression, not too bad. Looks like we've got a hole repair there. If you listen close, you can hear the toilet running. So that should have been repaired. Oh. Evidently, you don't need a toilet seat. Yeah, a lot of soap scum. Well, that's about it. That's the walkthrough. Um, you know, after eight years, I know places get lived in, but God, there's just, sometimes there's really no excuse for being so unclean. You know, what we provide them with versus what this is, is day and night difference. So anyway, that's about the condition of the unit. Um, it's not the worst we've ever had, but it's by far 
not uh, to the standard that we expect to get it returned to us in. Um, so anyway, we will uh, get going with this and I will post another video, update you guys on the progress and what our plan